Welcome back. Dime Protection Training. Lockie here again. Starting to get to know my ugly head now. That knot that we finished off on last week was a figure of eight on the bite. And I said when we come back we're going to have a look at another knot. It's a, a double figure of eight on the bite or bunny ears. So, keeping it simple. Remember how we went round the rope through the front. Similar thing. Round the rope to the back. Through the front, round to the front. This time we're not going to stick the bite through the hole. We're going to take part way down the bite and put that in the hole. Now I'll try and do this slowly. Turn it over and take the bite over the whole section of rope. Pull it tight and we'll have a figure of eight, double figure of eight on the bite. Now I mentioned to you about dressing in the last one. You notice it wasn't right, so I just pulled it up a little bit tighter. Dresses it. The reason they call it bunny ears, I a guess. Now I know I'm a bunny sometimes, but that's a great knot in vertical rescue because you've got to have a backup to your anchor. So if this anchor fails, we need something to make sure our rope will still hold us. And so that's a really, really good knot. Quick and easy to tie. Um, so I want to show you it again because it can be a little bit, little bit confusing when you first tie this knot, this knot. So same thing, you need a fair bit of rope too to, to get this. So make sure you've got a decent section of it. Figure of eight, double figure of eight on the bite. Round the rope, back to the front. Don't put the bite right through there. Take part of the bite. I'll get this close to the camera so he can see it. Pull it through. Take this section here, the bite itself, over the top of the rope, back to the beginning so it doesn't slip out, and we pull the whole thing tight. Remember, dress the rope. You're the person hanging on the end of this bunny ears. Now, this rope can, this knot can adjust, so if your anchors are at different places, you can adjust it. You can pull one in and pull the other one out. So if you've got a short sling there, or a long sling there, and a short sling over there, you can adjust it. Remember at the beginning of our series, we spoke about vector angles. We still want to keep that that vector angle in our anchor system. So look guys, there's a few knots there all on figure of eights that you've been looking at in the beginning of this series. They're all, all good knots, all important in vertical rescue. We definitely invite you, if you haven't already, to subscribe to our channel at the bottom of this page. We appreciate all those guys that are watching and have subscribed already. If you're interested in training, go to www.diamondprotection.com. Have a look at what we're doing with regards to vertical rescue, confined space, first aid, heaps of training on there if you're interested in doing this type of work. Look forward to seeing you again here at Diamond Protection.